So next, we're going to talk all about sorting and structuring a document. So I'm going to be talking about tools, including um, dials, opening a navigation pane, updating styles, but that's tools all around create the creation of a, um, a Word document. So I'm just going to exit from here again and just move that over here. So this is a document that I created earlier. And um, it's basically just a Word document full of various things. But I'm going to use this document today for the basis of showcasing some things that you can do within Word. So the first thing that I want to talk to you all about is styles. So styles are also called headings. Essentially, styles are really useful for two reasons. Uh, one, they help to create a structure to your, to your document. And two, they enable you to have a table of contents like this. So the first thing I want to show you is some is navigation pane. So let's say you're writing an essay that's 2000 words. Instead of having to scroll to find things, you can use something called the navigation pane um, to find the various headings that, you look, that you're looking for quite quickly. It allows you to get through your document and find what you need really quickly to have them to scroll, which can take ages, and especially with longer documents. So if you go to the tab up here and go to view. So if you go to the view tab, and then from view, you go to navigation pane. Using headings creates a, creates a, a series of different things, a different uh, title that you can use to navigate your document. So here I've got word tips, which takes me straight to it. So let's say so I go to PowerPoint tips, uh, tools here, essay requirements, and so on. And by just clicking, I can navigate around my document. Uh, some of these are subheadings. Some of the so I've got this is a heading three here. So I can find that by opening it up and clicking. Um, and you can close these and open them to basically allow you to get ease of access on a document. And this enable this will enable you to get through your document really quickly. So how do you actually make something into a style? So all these headings that I've got here are in different styles. So this is heading one, this is heading two, uh, this is heading three, and this is heading four. And so if you see at the top, ever as I click on these, it changes what it says it is. So to create a new heading or to use a heading, essentially just you can do either one of two things. You can either type first or you can click the button first. I usually type first and then make it into a heading second. So I'm going to type in here table of contents because that's what this is. And then if I want to make it a heading, all I need to do is click, is go to the home tab and click the heading that I want it to be and it will become that heading. So I'm going to click heading one and now it is, it's there on screen and I have that there and it's in my navigation pane now. Um, so these headings usually if you see, they come in blue. Um, and I don't particularly like that blue, but that's the default that it comes in for Word. So let's say you want to change that. As you can see here, I've changed the first one to be underlying and such. Uh, but let's say you wanted to change that into something that's more typical to your document. Well, if you wanted to change one of them, um, just change the text that is in, just change the text that the heading is in or change how it's formatted. So let's say I wanted to make it not underlined, but bold. Um, it only changes that one initially, but if I was to select it, I could update all of them by simply updating the heading. So if I wanted to make this new heading, this new type of thing that I've created, this new format, the same for all my first headings, I can right click on heading one and I can click update heading one to match selection and all my headings are now like that. And that can be really useful. So headings are really useful for basically creating a document navigation pane and also for creating a table of contents if you want or need one. So um, if you if you don't actually want them in your essay, I would still recommend including them and then just deleting them once you finish writing the essay because they can help you to navigate around the document and to understand what you're finding. So if so sometimes I do one per paragraph, um, if I'm Making that paragraph, I name the um, the heading after that point. Uh, as you notice here, I've got a table of contents. If any of you want to add one in, so some people like to add them into dissertations, uh, you can add a table of contents in. Okay, so if you want to insert a table of contents, simply go to insert, so not insert, go to references, and then click table of contents, 
and then automatic table one is the one that I tend to use and you can just add a table of contents in like that. Um, just looking at my notes, the last thing that I have to say about initially designing a document using Word is a tool that you can find uh, on the design tape design part and effectively it allows you to change the font for the entire document. So if you go to the fonts, you can choose what fonts you want to use um, here by doing this and it'll automatically update everything into that font. So let's say you've got a last minute change of font idea or you've just noticed that you need to have it in Arial. You can just scroll down to Arial here by going design, fonts, Arial, and now everything's in Arial. And that's a quicker way of, having, of selecting everything and changing it manually to Arial. So that's the last thing I wanted to discuss in terms of in terms of structuring a document.